This episode is brought to you by Bayphoto, providing professional photographers with outstanding quality, excellent value, and exceptional customer service for over 40 years. Please be sure to support them by ordering your prints at bayphoto.com. I asked five truly amazing photographers how they capture emotion or the mojo in their images, and here's what they said. What do you think that, if you had to distill the essence of getting that cover shot, what do you think those elements are? I would say there's like four things or five things, you know, and it's, it's composition, light, um, depth, contrast, and then just mojo, whatever you want to say at the What's end. What's the right? mojo? I don't know. That would be like <laughs> the moment, you know, I think the, the mojo, the moment, right? The, Somewhere in between like eight frames a second and 10 frames a second is usually the mojo. But in reality, I think it's just finding the, the moment where kind of all those things come together. And, you know, it could be the difference between like squatting down and shooting and standing up and shooting. Like okay. that's, that's the scary thing about it. So what is it for you that's the mojo when you, when you get that photograph that really pops? What I like best is people and getting some sort of emotion out of the people or, um, yeah, there's, yeah, it's hard to pinpoint that thing mm -hmm. that's happening, you know, but you know when you got it, you know, and, and it's, um, it's usually not when you're setting something up, right. you know, like I'm sure Chris has this happen. You have this idea, you go and you set it up and something else happens and that's your shot. Right. And that's the mojo, you know, that, that shot that you thought about that you set up is not the shot usually from my experience, you know, it's, it's what you didn't plan on. And if hopefully you capture that thing that you didn't plan on. Brian, how do you get the mojo in a photograph? I think the best thing that you can do is kind of put all the elements into place and then be willing to shake it up and go in a completely different direction. And I think that's, I think that's where the mojo comes from. It comes from planning and then being willing to deviate from that plan. When you know all of a sudden something much better presents itself, you have to make sure you don't get in the way of a better photograph than you'd planned. So. Um, you plan ahead, but then, you know, plan to be flexible. And then at the end of the day, expression rules. Expression over perfection. Don't work an image so hard, don't make, don't make it so hard to get an image and work it to death so in such a difficult way that you kill the magic. Because at the end of the day, it's about this if you're photographing people. It's about, you know, getting what's in the soul. Take a personal interest in people. I find that if you take a personal interest in them and that you love people and you're not afraid of them, but that you love them, then you'll be a much better photographer of people. Okay, you talked about you make people not just look good, but feel good. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Making people feel comfortable in their own skin. Uh, it's having a great time on the shoot. If I can have everybody feel good on my set, they'll come back over and over and over again. And that, that experience is, okay, you see a picture of, of Oprah or Tyra on a cover. The world sees that shot and they experience that, that instant of the day. But everybody in the room has the experience of the day. And if it's going well, that experience is a zillion great shots and laughter and fun and stories and everybody in the room has that experience my clients uh, my subject my crew so five years from now ten years from now when I see them again they're like oh Matthew remember that day when we were shooting in LA or we were shooting in New York or we were shooting in Bora Bora they remember that experience mm. that's what keeps them coming back not the shot I mean that's part of it too but it's the experience that fun experience they have on that day that's what it's all about. Hey guys, that's some powerful advice. Use it to create emotion and find your mojo and get out and capture your own images of life. As a photographer, I wanna make sure that the company I'm handing my imagery off to is going to print it and represent it in a way that I'm proud to show my clients. And for me, Bay Photo is that company.